Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Good morning, dear students, and welcome to our science class. Today is Monday, and it is the 1st of March, 2022. Thank you, Firuz, for showing me your homework. Excellent. Thank you, Tala. Thank you, Amal, for opening your camera. Let's start now. Okay, girls. Yesterday, we stopped over here uh, between uh, fossils in ancient earth and the modern one. We learned about the coral reefs and also the fishes. These fishes, we said they're species not species really of plants and animals different that... from one another. But for elephant and mammoth, Ele yes, they are different. Before, in ancient uh, earth, they used to have fur. Elephants ha used to have fur. And they used to live where? In cold climates nowadays, they live in warm places such as Africa and Equator. Now let's complete. What can happen to species when there are massive volcanic eruptions or an asteroid impact on Earth? Most of the time, species survive these major events, but sometimes such an event can cause the extinction of a large number of species. Extinction means that a species no longer exists. Often, new organisms populate Earth after a mass extinction. The large divisions of the geologic timescale are defined by the mass extinctions of species and rise of new organisms. Click the images to learn more. So mass extensions means that there are animals extended. There's no more of them uh, uh, because of certain event. Like who? Who can tell me? Give me an example of animals that they already extinct. I know, like dinosaurs. dinosaurs. Excellent, like dinosaurs. Dinosaurs were Dodo widespread bird. during the Mesozoic era, which is known as the Age of Dinosaurs. Reptiles, such as lizards and Komodo dragons, survived the mass extinction at the end of this era that led to the end of the dinosaurs. The mass extinction of dinosaurs led to the rise of mammals. So, what is the mass extinction of dinosaur? When dinosaurs extinct, they rise what? The number of who? Mammals? Excellent mammals and some reptiles. So mammals and reptiles become very uh, larger in, uh, in number and uh, we have so many of them because of the extinction of dinosaurs. So dinosaurs lived in which era? Mesozoic era. They lived in the Mesozoic era. And they were extinct before 65 million years ago. What about the mammals? Cenozoic era, 65 million years ago to the present day, marks the time when mammals became the foremost animals on Earth. Mammals continue to dominate the vertebrate population on Earth. Even so, some species, such as a saber-toothed cat and the woolly mammoth, became extinct during the Cenozoic era. So only some of mammals, only some, few of mammals, and just like the mammoth and so, uh, uh, some uh, sort kite, uh, kind of cat did extinct and there are no more living anymore. Let's see, finally, the aquatic... Trilobites were one of the most abundant species of aquatic animals in the oceans during the Paleozoic era. Most aquatic species, including trilobites, became extinct at the end of the Paleozoic era leading to the rise of reptiles and dinosaurs on Earth. So what do you call it, this one? This one is what? Trilobite. Um, aquatic organism. It's a dinosaur. No, this one is not a dinosaur. This one is a trilobite. It looks like an insect. We call it a trilobite. Trilobites what? are extinct. They are just like dinosaurs. They are extinct and no more uh, of them over here these days anymore. They are no longer living anymore. Just like dinosaurs. So the max extension, what do they finally mean by mass extensions? So when some animals die and extinct, they become no longer living anymore. They raise the number of other kinds, such as mammals, reptiles, amphibians, and others. So this is what do they mean by mass extension.
You've learned a lot about index fossils and how they can determine the age of rock layers. If a trilobite, which is a great index fossil, is found in a layer of rock, in what era was the rock layer formed? Huh. Click the correct answer. Trilobite. We just learned about this right now. Trilobite. In which era? I know. Yes, Italia. It's in the Cenozoic era? Not yeah. quite. The Cenozoic era is the age of mammals. You can try again. Because uh, I think I know. Yes, yeah, Maria. The Mesozoic era? Let's see. That's not it. The Mesozoic era was the age of dinosaurs. It's the age of dinosaurs. What was it? What is it again? Paleozoic era. That's right. The Paleozoic era was the age of fish and other aquatic organisms, including trilobites. Excellent. So As you've learned, an index fossil can tell you about the age of the rock in which it is found. So, Cenozoic era for who? Mammal. For, uh, Mammal. Um, Mesozoic. Dinosaurs. dinosaurs. And Paleozoic. Insects. Or Trip trilobites. Trilobites. Trilobites that looks like insects, but they're animals. But they are trilobites. We call them trilobites. No. You learned oh, a lot about environments not. that have changed over geologic time. Let's see what you remember about the Grand Canyon. Place the images in order from most ancient to most recent. Huh. What is the most ancient in Grand Canyon? Come on, come on, girls. It's really easy. <gasps> Mosaic era. Let's see. Nope. No, it's the Precambrian. Precambrian. Excellent. Time. That's right. Really? Find this it. Is from Four thousand billion years ago. What comes but after the Precambrian? Mosaic time? era. Listen. Are you sure? Um, is is it dinosaurs no, in the Mesozoic? Huh. Paleozoic era. era. Excellent, the Paleozoic oh. era. What comes now after? the Cenozoic era. Mrs. Mrs. Sure. Mesozoic no, era. Mesozoic era. era. Excellent. Not Finally. Mesozoic era. Mesozoic. Then today. Then today. Excellent. Today. Great job. As you learned, a place like the Grand Canyon looks very different now than it did millions of years ago. Many environments have changed significantly throughout geologic history. Yep, it has changed a lot. You've learned a lot about past environments and how they change over time. Let's review the main ideas from the lesson. Fossils are important for helping us understand Earth's past. They show us how continents have moved and how land surfaces and environments have changed over time. Index fossils are important fossils for scientists because they help to estimate the ages of rock layers. One important group of index fossils are the trilobites. Mass extinctions are important events in Earth's geologic history because they provide scientists information about changes in environments and changes in species on Earth. Now that you've finished this lesson, if you wish, you can go back and review any part of the lesson again. So... We learned about the index fossil and the mass extinctions. You know what is mass extinctions. Can you read it for me, Amal, again, before we go to sum it up? Mass extinctions indicate what? Mass extinctions indicate major changes in special and, and species and environment species and environments on earth excellent major changes big changes of, t of t species and environments on earth and index fossils they help scientists to learn what the ages of what the ages of 
rock layers. So whenever you see rock layers between these rock layers, you can find index fossils. And the biggest uh, example of an index fossil is the trilo, uh, trilo uh, bites. Okay, girls, let's open to page 476. 476, everyone. Four hundred seventy-six. Okay, students, we're going to do it quickly and then I'm going to post for you the answer key so you can copy from it. Please raise your hand so I do not ask you by names, okay? I do not want to ask you by names. Please raise your hand. So, number one. Of course, the uh, blue writing is incorrect. Replace the words in blue to correct each statement. Number one, Amal, can you start with number one? 76, the units of ge ge geologic time scale are def defended by the thickness of a rock layer. That's not um, true. The units of geologic time scale, how do they know the geologic time scale? They are defined by what? Not the thickness. By who? Who tells the story? Fossils that... Excellent. Fossils inside rocks. rocks. Excellent. Because who t tells the story and the age of these rocks? Not the thickness, no. The fossils between the fossil those layers. Index Excel excellent, thank you, Amal. Color number two. The okay. relative age. The relative age of a fossil tells whether it is 1,000 years old or 1 million years old. Um, it depends also on who, on something. It also depends on, on who. On the dinosaurs, the fossils. On the fossils, it depends on the fossils. So it must be younger or older than another fossil. You need to compare fossils together because it's a relative age of a fossil. So a relative age of a fossil, you cannot define it by numbers. You will tell if it's uh, older or younger from this or another fossil. Okay, number three, who wants to Hello. do? Yes, Maria. Maria, the rocks that contain fossils of Branch iPods, crampods, and jawless fish formed in a desert environment. In a like sea environment? Excellent, because jawless fish, of course, you cannot find them in desert. These animals, you can find them yeah. in ocean environment. Excellent. Number four. Who will do number four? Mariana, can you do number four? As the age of dinosaurs is known for the large number of animals, such as the saber-toothed cat, that were able to live in the cold environment. So the cold environment was age of dinosaurs? Which age is a cold environment? Ice age. Excellent, ice age, because very cold environment, such as the saber-toothed cat and uh, uh, a, a lot of animals, they lived in a cold environment. It's not the age of dinosaurs. Dinosaurs, they lived where? In cold environment or what? They lived in cold environment? Dinosaurs? No. No. They lived where? Okay. In which age? They lived in warm climates, somewhere close to the equator. Okay, number five. Who can tell me number five, please? Jenna. Okay, Jenna. Index fossils must be found over a large area, be easily recognized, have lived during the Paleolithic, hmm. and have large populations. They have lived during the Paleozoic or what? During what? Paleozoic is a very long period of time. 
Is it did did index fossils they lived for a long period of time, and they no, have large. They, mm -hmm. they lived in a short of short period of time. Excellent. So they have lived during the geological, uh, ge geologically short period of time. Excellent. Now number six, everyone, please. Number six. Number six, please. Someone did not answer with me. Open your cameras, I need to see you. Huh, Jude, can you try Jude? Please, please, please. I didn't do. Please, please. Fairos, you will do number seven. Jude, number six. Um, Jude, number six. Um, support from content. Continental different. Uh, uh, drift includes drift include different fossils found on the same continent. Oh, so different fossils found in the same continent? Now, remember when we said the continents were all joined together, but finally they were drift. When they are drifted and separated, they include different fossils in the same continents? Huh? How did they oh. learn that, that they were in one continent? Is it different fossil? No. No, so it is? Okay, Tyler, tell me. Um, it's uh, in it's Pangea when like the what do you call it? It's not in the same continent. It was like different continents. Different excellent. Continent. And is it the same fossils or different fossils? Different. Fossils. Yeah, yeah. No, they were the same fossils found in different continents. Same fossils found in different. Different continents. Excellent, Amal. Same fossils in different continents. So that what makes them learn that uh, this continent were all in one place, all joined together. They look exactly like a puzzle. Feroz number seven. Okay. Fossils of the reptile uh, Mesosaurus are used to explain the mo movement of continents. Continent because Beirut, your sound is so far. Okay, now, now very it's good. good. I can hear good. you. Yes. Because this reptile lived in the desert. So does re this reptile no, it's live? Not. Okay. Where did it live? It lived on lake. lakes. In fresh water, excellent, or lakes. So it could not swim across the ocean. It could not swim across the ocean. It's only found in fresh lakes and fresh water. So fossils of reptile of this specific type used to explain the movement of continents. Okay. Number eight, finally, who can do number eight? Hey, Fa, can you do number eight, please? Okay, anyone else, please, number eight. Me, Amal. <laughs> okay, Amal. When, when volcanic eruptions send dust and ash into the air, increase in animal and plant population can occur. No. So when volcanic eruptions send dust and ash into the air, what happens? What can occur? Hmm. Ma mass extinction. Excellent. What is mass extinction? Mass extinction is the very huge change in species and also what? Environment. The very big, huge change in species and environment. So when volcanic eruption uh, send dust and ashes into the air, very huge changes can happen to the environment and the species. That's why we call it mass extinctions. All right, girls, I'm gonna put for you the answer key P. 
please everyone you can screenshot the answer key or you can um, uh, save the page you can use annotate and save the page so you can copy it later okay everyone Please save the page so you can copy it later. I saved it. Did everyone save it? Yes. Haifa, do you know how to save a page? Tina, Jenna, Jude, Judy, Judy. Yes, I finished. Miss, if I saved it, can I leave? No, we did not finish. Of course you cannot leave. We did not finish. The class did not finish. Okay. Okay, girls, let's do the homework. Brain check. Now, over here, I want you to use the clues to complete the puzzle. Let's complete the puzzle together. We're going to do it together. So, let's do a cross first, number two. Who's ready to do number two? Who's ready to do number two? Can I try? Of course, sure. Yes, Tina. Can be used to help identify. Identify. Identify the relative age of a rock layer. What is it? You have a box full of words. Can I get it from the box? Yes, you have to get it from the box. It starts with I. What? Miss I know. Index. He knows. Excellent. Fossil. Excellent, excellent. Index fossil. Very good. Thank you, Atina. Bravo, bravo, bravo. Index fossil. So number two is index fossil. Very good. Yes, Yatala, number two, uh, number four. Okay. Um, unit of time that contains the age of dinosaurs. Um, hmm. Misha, wait, what? Yes, what yes. Misu Mesozoic era. Mesozoic era. Because I didn't Excellent. know what did it, like I wrote it, but I didn't understand my handwriting. I don't know how. <laughs> Me too. <laughs> oh, I brought it. Right. So number two, four <laughs> is Mesozoic era. Mesozoic era is the age of dinosaur. You need to memorize these guys so you learn about them when I give you the uh, exam about it. Number six, Yamaria. Excellent. Number okay. six. Appears when many species die out at the same time. Oh, so massive. Ge hmm. Geologic time scale. Oh, are you sure? When a huge change, a large or big huge change happens to species or in environment, what do you call it? Miss, um, can I try? When species die out at the same mass, time. Mass extinction. Excellent. It is mass extinction. Number seven. Uh, number six is mass extinction. Excellent. I'm going to put for you the answer key. You will do it again. Yes, yeah, Jenna, please try number seven. Okay. A geologic chart that divides Earth history into units. Of course, a geological uh, chart that divides Earth history into units. 
chart. It's a chart. So what is it? Um. Is it fossil record or geologic time scale? Index fossil, mass extinction, Mesozoic era, Pangaea. Is, is it geologic time scale? Excellent, yes, of course, because it is a geologic chart. So definitely a geologic time scale. So number seven is a time scale. Number eight, please, number eight. Common fossil animal from the Paleozoic. Huh, who came from the Paleozoic? Who came from the Paleozoic? I know. A trilobite. Excellent, a trilobite. A trilobite, number eight is a trilobite. Why can we just let, write time scale in number seven? We don't yes, write only time eight. scale. You write in number seven. That's why I got it wrong. Excellent. Okay, number one, used to describe if a fossil is older or younger than another fossil. What do you say? Relative age. Excellent, because <laughs> you need to know if it's, uh, if it's relative in the age or not. It's very obvious. Relative age means if it's younger or smaller than another fossil. Number three, finally, all of the Fossils and earth rock layers, huh? What do I call them? All the fossils and earth rock fossil record. record. Excellent fossils records. This is number three. Number five, finally, giant continents that extinct Panga. in Earth past. Pangaea. Definitely it is Pangaea. Yes, it is. Oh. Okay, girls. We said the nice writing. Okay, please, everyone, take a screenshot of the answer key over here. Make sure your answers are right. Okay. I say, Miss, if we finish, can we leave? No, I'm really sorry. You have two minutes left. Woohoo, it's all right. I don't need to take a screenshot. Please tell others, if you did not finish, you can copy the correct answers over here. Excellent, Italia. Excellent. If you write it down, show it to me, please. Excellent. That was wrong. Thank you. I didn't have it as a homework. It is a homework, so it is easier for us right now. If you did, thank you, Judy. If you did your homework, you will just correct it now with me, and it does. It will not take from you even two minutes. I did it. I showed you. Very good. Thank you, Feroz. Thank you, everyone. Okay, lovely students, time is up. We are finished. See you, inshallah, tomorrow. Have a nice day, everyone. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye. Bye.